Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. And on this episode, we're doing some deer season prep. We're we'll gonna be getting our uh, hunting blinds up and we'll be showing a few tips and tricks. So y'all stay tuned. Bow season is in about three or four weeks from now. Where I need to be is over there. So I'm gonna be clearing this out. That's another thing when you're making your little path to your blind, you know, clear out anything that's gonna make noise when you're walking to it. That's one way to do it. The old hickory butcher, making real easy work of this. We're just clearing out a little area to put the blind up, put this old burlap down on the ground, and we'll have it up. We're back out here. If you watched last year's deer prep video, we uh, constructed a blind of burlap. Um, this year we've kind of upped the ante a little bit. Bought a, a pop-up blind from the Sportsman's Guide, the Hunt Right, the Silent Pro. So anyways, it looks like it's a, just a regular old uh, hub style blind. It pops right up. Once you get your blind all popped out, take the time and actually stake it down. Um, I've had blinds get blown away in the high wind. I've had one blind get washed away in a creek that rose. So I don't know if the stake would have helped that one, but it can't really hurt at this point. So got these little tie out points here on the hubs. We'll go ahead and stake it down the best we can give it give it a fighting chance out here in the wild so before you call it quits on your uh, blind setup here make sure you get in there make sure you have clear shooting lanes you know last thing you want is on opening morning big old tree in front of you and you know get in here have your chair set how you want it maneuver your stuff around Make sure everything's good to go. One thing I'm gonna be doing this year, I'm gonna be leaving this tote in the blind. It's just a tote, it's filled with some extra stuff so I don't have to keep carrying it back and forth with me. And some emergency items if I need it. But extra bottles of water, extra battery cell, a little bit of duct tape, some extra gloves, Another flashlight. Got a couple of granola bars in here. Some lens cleaner. That's really good. Last thing one's a dirty scope when you come out here. A couple extra things for the thermocell. And I'm gonna have an extra mag with two rounds, 300 blackout, and two rounds of 44 mag in there. You know, things happen. Sometimes you forget some things at the house. Last thing I want to do is come out here and not have some ammunition. But check your laws. You can only bring so much ammunition with you, so downgrade what you bring. But this is going to stay in this blind up here all season long. And one other thing I'm going to add is a little propane heater, the little one-pound uh, bottles. They have a unit that goes on top of it. That's going to be coming out here for the later season. Hi there, welcome to my crib. Come on in. Got everything set up. Everything's looking good. Got the chair in here, pointed where I want it to. One other thing that's gonna be staying in here is a cheapy monopod, just in case I forget my, my good one. That way I'll have that. Everything is good.
So we've got Hawkins' setup pretty much ready to roll. Right here at my spot, I got a brand new hunt blind this year. I'm gonna try to set it up. It's right exactly where my old one was. Just tore it down, it needed replaced. And uh, see if we can't get this big guy up. Howdy y'all, and welcome to my crib. Come on in. What you're looking at here is the Rhino Blind. I bought this one from Real King. It's got approximately 10 foot tall vaulted ceilings. Um, there's about four acres worth of space in here to stretch out. You can bring uh, probably about a 200 beer size cooler in here for you and your buddy on those extra long days of hunting. One complaint so far, these chairs are a little, sitting a little too low. They work fine for your average blind, but this thing might have to build a, maybe a platform, maybe a first floor to the uh, hunting blind to elevate us so we could actually see out and see those big deer coming down the trail. Here's your Hawkmire Outdoors pro tip of the day. When you're setting your hunting blind up, go ahead and take your rangefinder and measure out a few trees that are out in front of you. I've measured this tree out exactly 30 yards out. I've wrapped a bungee strap around it. That way when I'm sitting in there and that big buck of a lifetime steps out, right in front of this tree, I know he's 30 yards and I don't need to fumble around with my rangefinder. And that's your Hawkmore Outdoors pro tip of the day. One little tip that you can use while you're setting up your trail camera, set your lens on your cell phone up in front of the lens on your trail camera. And I use the flip screen there. It's roughly gonna give you the shot of what your trail camera is gonna pick up. So that's one little piece of advice that you can use while you're setting up your trail camera. Well, there you have it, folks. We got our blind set up. Gave you a couple pieces of advice and some tips. Yeah. But this is part one of our little deer prep series. We're going to have a part two. We're going to be sighting in our rifles and our crossbows and stuff like that for you. Maybe have a few tips there for you. Who knows? But I want to say if you made it this far, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And thanks for all that you do. Y'all have a good one.